Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 140 for Wednesday, March 8th, 2017. Newsreaders. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by BarkBox. BarkBox Paw picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys for your dog and ships them right to your door. To receive a free month of BarkBox with your 6 or 12 month subscription and free shipping, visit getbarkbox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. I, well, around here at Twit anyways, live, breathe, and sleep tech news these days between Tech News Today, All About Android, and this show. Keeping up to date on the latest news is no longer something I want to do. It's something I can't afford not to do. So tools that help me keep in touch with reality are essential to my sanity. Not only that, I'm looking for current news, but also unique angles to the news stories that everyone else is digesting. I'm going to share a few ways that you can do the same today with three awesome newsy apps in this week's roundup. So sure, there are a ton of fully featured RSS readers in the Play Store, but sometimes you just want to cut to the chase and not have to manage all those sources yourself. Laziness. That's what I prefer. Uh, Let someone else do it for you. This is an app called Morning Reader, and it's a streamlined and simple newsreader app that monitors nothing but tech news in this case. That's my lifeblood these days. But as you can see on the top stories feed, the default when you launch the app, you get a simple text-based rundown of the biggest tech news stories of today with a call out to the source of each story down below the headline. Tapping a headline actually takes me directly to the site within the Chrome browser so I can dig in there. It doesn't open it within the app. That's keeping the size of the app minimal and low. Morning Reader also tracks trending articles based on other users of the app, so you actually know which story is hot and when it was published. And that list is expandable down below by tapping Show More, and it grows in size every time you do that. Now in the side slide out tray, I can also access the river as well as the daily lists to get a quick look at the big stories for any given day. So I'll I'll level with you here. Morning Reader doesn't come with a bunch of bells and whistles. It's quite literally what I've shown you and not much more beyond that. But it's designed well, minimal distractions built in there, and it cuts to the chase when all you really have time for is the chase. Find Morning Reader in the Play Store for free with no ads. When you want control over your news sources, then you need a more fully featured newsreader app to juggle it all. Source is a newsreader that makes it easy to manage those sources that you've already curated, including pulling in news items from your Twitter feed. I've imported my own Twitter lists covering Android and tech news, as well as a few categories from my Feedly account, which is what is populating this main feed of items that you see here. Most articles are accompanied with an image, though I can select a more compact view. If I go into settings, that'll help minimize the clutter. Now, tapping on an item will expand it within the context of the main feed itself. It keeps it inside the feed. And I can always open it in full outside of the app as well if I want to take it out from there. Now, if I like what I'm reading, I can always star it. That's going to add it to my saved list, which, as you can see here, is accessible in the side slide out tray. You'll also notice that all of my original source feeds are there for the picking if I want to you know, go in and isolate those lists even further. Now, in settings, there are full controls for the theming engine. I can color it however I want and play a little bit with how things appear in the feed, along with the ability to hone in how often source updates in the background to save my battery. And finally, source allows for instant notifications as new items appear within the app. Source isn't a feed reader with a million options, but still a bit more flexible than others in the category while keeping things pretty simple. Find source in the Play Store right now. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is BarkBox. 
If you're a dog owner, if you're a dog lover, you're going to love BarkBox. BarkBox delivers four to six natural treats and fun toys for your dog curated around a surprise theme each month. BarkBox Paw picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys to match your dog's unique needs, including allergies, and if they happen to be a heavy chewer, preferences around that. All edibles are made in the USA or Canada, and 100% of their products are tested on animals. Their own animals. They've all got animals at BarkBox. BarkBox is a great way to try a variety of treats and toys from local and small businesses that you may not be able to find otherwise. There's some really nice boutique items in there. BarkBox also makes their own products through their Bark & Co. brand. They've shipped over 16 million toys and treats so far. And that's because it's super easy to do. You can get started right away. You choose your dog size. If you have a small and cute dog that's up to 20 pounds, uh, just right is between 20 to 50 pounds, or a big and bold dog, that's more than 50 pounds. Then you want to choose a plan, one six or 12 month plans are available here. And then you get your bark box, which is shipped on the 15th of every month. You open it up, you find all the goodies, your dog's gonna be super stoked. Bark box will keep your dog engaged, interested, and happy. And if your dog doesn't happen to like something in the bark box, they'll send you something else for free. And when your dog falls in love with something from the box, awesome, uh, you can easily find it again on barkshop.com or the bark box app. And you can cancel anytime with shipping always free in the continental U.S. Give your dog the joy of a million belly scratches. Get one month free and free shipping with your six or 12 month subscription by visiting getbarkbox.com slash twit. That's getbarkbox.com slash twit. And we thank BarkBox for their support. All right, next up, not a feed reader by any stretch, but a content platform with some fantastic writing. All right, here we have a news app of a different stripe. It's not a feed reader, it's more of a platform, but I find myself returning to Medium more and more every single day. It's because it's become an incredible source of long form articles by some of the tech industry's biggest names. A big part of Medium is tailoring the app to your own interests. So you'll first wanna select a number of topics to personalize your stream with. And here's the stream, here's what I've picked. Now up top, there are a number of ways to pull up some of the more popular content pieces on the service today with top news, there's some editor's picks in there, and a whole host of other curated lists on topics that you might like, but maybe sit outside of the topics you picked at first. Now below that is a carousel on series that you can dive into, which has a different aesthetic approach with a full screen, high contrast art and text on a particular topic or theme and individuals host those, as you can see. You can swipe to the left to navigate between those. Below that are publications that you can follow to see anything that they happen to publish going forward. You can also follow individual people and follow particular tags from there as well. But finally, below all that is your reading list based on those topics that you personalized at the start. And then of course, the posts themselves by notable writers and novices alike. It's what makes Medium so great. One thing that really unites Medium posts is their simplicity in layout and design, along with a thoughtful idea with pertinent graphics and accompanying video embeds. It's all laid out really seamlessly. It's a rich multimedia experience and the content feels special as a result. The best part, if you begin to feel inspired to write your own thoughts, you can tap the floating action button and you enter compose mode. The on-screen editing tools make it super easy to insert images and media into your work of art. All of it is synced actually to drafts automatically so you can return to your work later and then finally, hopefully, publish it out uh, for the Medium world to see. Medium is all about sharing ideas and it's an impressive find for everyone. Download Medium in the Play Store right now for free. There, now you have what you need to become the next thinkfluencer or thought leader, or maybe just another person sharing their wise words with others on the World Wide Web. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv. You can post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. Uh, the recorded show plays every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live. And new episodes will appear later in the evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.